Today's wine text is the 2013 San Filippo Brunello de Maltocino. So you guys might recognize this winemaker or this producer. Uh, we did the Lou Cherry uh, a while back, which is their top bottling. This is their normal Brunello de Maltocino. So this is their entry level wine where they're blending all their different single vineyards into one wine um, to make it really approachable. But in 2013, still a pretty collectible and pretty aggressive style Brunello. 100% Sangiovese from a really great vintage. All the vineyards that San Filippo own are northeast facing vineyards. So you get a decent amount of sunlight that comes through during the daylight, but just like in Multicino, the nights get pretty cold. So the acidity level is still pretty high. Um, I expect it to be pretty fruit forward, uh, but a little bit more of that earth is coming through in the 2013s now that they've really settled in. So a little bit of this leather kind of clay, earthy thing will definitely come through. Let's get into it. As you can see the color on it, you can see through it, I think, but it's still pretty dark. A uh, little bit of this kind of amber color on it. That's just, you know, naturally Sangiovese over time kind of gets this little brickish thing going on. And on the nose, I definitely get a lot of that, that cherry kind of dried fig. Um, but definitely pushing through on the dark chocolate, the leather, the very earthy kind of tones that come through naturally in, in Brunello di Maltocino. Um, but I'm getting a lot of intensity because these wines are, are pretty full body, especially in great vintages like 2013. On the palate, I actually get a little bit more of this kind of red apple thing going on. And the acidity level is still pretty firm, but a lot of still that dried cherry, the figs, the leather, everything else that comes through is pretty prominent in this style of wine. 2013's coming along, especially in entry level wines. I think they may be the single vineyards and the reserves definitely need a little bit more time. But the base level Brunellos are drinking really well right now. So I think opening them, drinking it now, not even a problem, but still can last another 10, 15 years without even trying. Um, really cool stuff, really small production. I mean, the Lolo Cherry was one of our most popular wines. Brunello seems to be one of the biggest wine sellers on Wine Text. So we'll keep kind of bringing them to you. Uh, good stuff. Tasty bottle. Enjoy.